This was the first game to do the ha suffix, right? It kind of makes sense. This game is so massive that they needed more than just Kira, Kira, Kiraga. Actually, we can just go this way. It's fine. Oh, that's right. Four had Jaw too. What did it do? What did it do in four again? Was it just a stronger version? When it rains, the elementals come to play. Just stronger. Ooh, he has teleport stones. And greens. Wait, does he have more? Is there a hunt we can do in 30 minutes? It <laughs> comes with a color changing spoon. Dude, those were sweet. I think the bazaar is closer, but oh well. Uh, was it was it actually Ja in the the original or only in the updated versions? Maybe it was just four. So this still might have been the first one. Award of Justice! And a scar. Some gill, king bomb, some gill and a mallet. Ari man. 1600 gill. Mandragoras. 1600 gill. Trickster. A white chocobo. about that. I think you're right. I think Sin uses Gravesia in 10. There's Gravesia in 8 too? Who uses it? Diablos? I thought that was just Graviga. Huh. Well there you go then. That might be the actual, literal, first ever use of it, then. Because that would have been way before. I mean, unless Zoo's right, and, like, they had the idea to use it, but didn't because they didn't have enough room in 6. 
but then that still doesn't count as using it, so I would say eight's probably the very first actual use of it. Uh, which one has the... South. Oh, is it in tactics too? See, I don't know enough about tactics, so... Then that would be the first, because tactics is before 8. Alright. Let's see here. We have a lot to pick from. But perhaps I should just do the two puddings. That's probably a good idea. I'm right here, and these ones kicked my butt earlier, so it'll be good to get revenge, if I can even kill them yet. And maybe I can actually kill these elementals now without getting blasted. Two of those things are active now. I have the element of surprise, haha. -ha. Bosch is going to kill them all on his own. I have surprise go. Guys, you don't need to fight that thing. Going the right way. No. Guys, I'm just standing there. Here comes that boy. Where'd he go? Where's he go? Okay. Leave it. Yeah, I really need holy. So many things we can get holy. I do have a gas spell to use now that I didn't before. Come here, lizard. Yo, I was going to Hope the uh, Christmas preparations are going well. Hope everyone's enjoying the season. Yeah. 
Hey, welcome back, Cannon. Good to see you. Hope you've been well. It's great to have you back. Look at that, new sword. It's doing good damage. More damage than Fran. Alright, this is usually where the the elemental was. But it looks like he's not here this time. Figures. Now that I'm strong enough to kill him, he's out here. Yo, magic! Good to see you, man. Yeah, I'm excited to do more Crisis Core post game later. Having a lot of fun with it. They pass. Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream, man. Alright. We all still have Ronald. Let's do this. Arctic. Great to see you, man. Hope you're having a great holiday season. Hope all is going well. I'm doing fantastic. I've had a really great, really great season. Lots of really crazy stuff. A lot of amazing people. It's just been a really amazing time. Okay, his uh, shell wore off. I don't really do any more damage than physical damage. Just cast haste on Yvonne and let him do his thing. The slow is not helping. Get Yvonne, get Yvonne, get Yvonne. JC, thank you for the tier two. 54 months. Incredible. Thank you so much, man. The ultimate Final Fantasy VII streamer finds crazy trick to keep people subbed forever. Click here, not clickbait. Definitely clickbait. How about the 
this. Dang it, he cancelled all my stuff. I think he's weak against fire, actually. Even without the oil. The idea was Fran was going to cast oil and then I was going to cast fire right after. But because everything got cancelled by his water move, they went off at the same time. But it didn't matter because oil missed. One more, yeah. Alright. One down. Also, I think that gave me enough LP for Kiraha. Yeah, 13 is going to be really interesting because I really have not played it since it came out. I played it once for an event for a few hours, and that was it. Not even, for like one hour. That was it. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those where, like, a lot of people don't like it, but the people that like it, it tends to be their favorite in the whole series. So, it'll be interesting. Yeah, so do I. I played it. I loved it when it came out. Platinumed it. Really enjoyed it, but haven't played it since. I would really like... Fran to have haste. That would be nice. Shouldn't be called Final Fantasy. I think that Okay, let, let's let's open this up. Let's open this up for conversation. I'm curious to see what you guys say. Let, let me ask the whole question before you answer, though. What game, in your opinion, was the end of, like, you know, like, in your opinion, where did it get too far away from the Final Fantasy formula? So, like, and don't answer yet. So, like, you know, they could have called it something else. Instead of calling it Final Fantasy XIII... They could have called it something else. Like, it was too far away from, from being Final Fantasy at that point. Before you answer, the answer could be none. So you could say they all still fit. So take that into consideration. I'm not saying you have to pick a game. You could say none. So, so which game, you know, was too far, shouldn't have been Final Fantasy anymore, should have been its own series, and we should have gone back to, you know, something more in line with the series. Okay, now you can answer. I feel like most people are going to say 12, 13, or 15. Or 11, I guess. But, I don't know, 11's kind of... The thing with 11 is that I agree, but then 12 kind of brought it back, so, like... If you, if you say 11, I'm curious to hear if you think 12 should have been 11. You know what I mean? Like, do you think 12 fits or everything past 11, no. Because 11's kind of an outlier. Well, like, I could see you saying 11 but not 12. <laughs> 7. Good shout. It's, I, you know, I don't really know my, my answer to this, because, like, I've always said that Eleven shouldn't have been called Final Fantasy Eleven. It should have been called Final Fantasy Online, and it should have split. We should have Final Fantasy Eleven actually be Twelve, and Final Fantasy Fourteen should have been Final Fantasy Online Two. So basically, Final Fantasy Fifteen should have been Final Fantasy Thirteen. We should have taken those two out and put them in their own series. I've always said that. I still, I still believe that. Just because, you know, 
I don't think you would have sold less copies calling it Final Fantasy Online, and I think it makes the whole series convoluted. Especially to people trying to get into the series, because you can't even play Final Fantasy XI on console anymore, so it just confuses the whole thing. So, I think even, even casually, if you're not a big fan of Final Fantasy, I think it would have been nice to split those out. Now, disregarding 11 and 14, that's where it gets interesting. Because... I don't know... I don't know my answer, honestly. I Because 12... 12 is, is different, but I think... I think 12 fits. I think I would say if 12... Ooh, I need this with Ash. Okay, I do. I think... I mean, I, I, would, I would see the argument. I would see the argument if you said, like, the entire Ivalis series should have been its own thing. So, like, Final Fantasy XII should have been called something else entirely, and then, like, Tactics and all the other Iblis games could have been, like, its own series. Because they do kind of have their own feel. But I think this game is close enough and fits enough. And feels like Final Fantasy, and it can still be turn-based if you want it to be, if you're someone that says, like, it's not a Final Fantasy if it's not turn-based. Which, by the way, I, I've i gone back and forth with that, and I've pretty much, like, I, I'm pretty much sold that, that Final Fantasy does not need to be turn-based. I know that the first couple games were turn-based, so a lot of people just say, like, if you make six, if you make seven games, well, no, nine games, ten games, if you make ten games that are all turn-based in the same series, then that's a turn-based series. Like, I get that, but at the same time, Final Fantasy has always been the series that Square Enix likes to push the boundaries and and make new things and, and create new concepts and it was the first game that they did you know a lot of a lot of things in so i think it's it fits the final fantasy brand to change up the gameplay it doesn't feel like something like mega man where it's like if you make a mega man rpg you can't call it mega man 9 you know like that's fair it's Mega Man is very much Jump and Shoot Man, and it's never not been Jump and Shoot Man. And anytime it hasn't been Jump and Shoot Man, it's a side series. But with Final Fantasy, it's like they, they're always trying to push the boundaries, and I feel like some of the older games would have been not turn-based if they had the ability. Like, I think Final Fantasy VII would have been more of an action-y game if they had the ability to do it. Like, with the ATB system, it felt like they wanted it to be more action-y, but RPGs were turn-based, and it made sense to make it turn-based, but they put in the ATB system to make it a little less turn-based. So I already felt like they were trying to get away from the turn-based system with the ATB system. You know what I mean? They always wanted it to be more action-y and hands-on, even back then. So I just don't think it's totally off-brand to make it not turn-based. Personally. 10 was still turn-based, even though they could have made it not turn-based, but I think that was a stylistic choice, plus they were getting used to the PS2 and probably couldn't do... They, they were still experimenting with... They were still experimenting with action RPGs, but they weren't ready to throw it into the Final Fantasy series yet, I think. 
yeah, they experimented with stuff like Dirge or other action RPGs they made, but they weren't ready to do it full force with with Final Fantasy yet. And the other thing, too, is they slowly implemented it. Like with 12, it can still be turn-based, but it can also be more action-y. So it's not like they just flipped it on us out of nowhere. They they slowly implemented it over time until it fit the series. It's not like they randomly decided, hey, the next Final Fantasy game is going to be a puzzle game, and we're going to call it a mainline. Like, they, they slowly implemented more action. They started with straight turn-based, then they went ATB, then they went hybrid with 12 and 13, and then they went like pretty much full action RPG with 15. And then they're going complete action, you know, Devil May Cry with 16. So I think it's a, it's a fine, slow arc into action. So I don't think you can look at 12 and just be like, well, it's not, it's not turn-based. So it doesn't fit. Now, there's other reasons you could say 12 doesn't fit. <laughs> For one, the story is very, like, not Final Fantasy-ish and more Star Wars-y. Like, the whole Ibilis thing is just very different, I think. Um, so, like, if you want to make that argument, it's fine. But in my personal opinion, I don't think we can just say... Everything past 11 isn't Final Fantasy because it's not turn-based. Like, it's not, like, specifically turn-based. Like, I think that's a bit much, in my opinion. But you're welcome to disagree. What does this guy do again? Awful things, right? I just remember he does awful things. Oh, confusion, for one thing. How's it going, D-Ranker? So, you know, in my opinion, I really don't know. I, I don't know what. I definitely think 11 should have been called online. But other than that, I don't know where the Final Fantasy series, like, truly jumped the shark, I guess you could say. I, I, don't, I don't know if it ever did. I think... Like, I don't like 15, but I don't think it's not a Final Fantasy. I think it's just bad. So. I don't know. I think I'm actually of the... I think I'm actually of the persuasion that they all fit. I think a lot of people are going to say that 16 doesn't feel Final Fantasy-ish. Which is a shame because it feels like the story is definitely trying to. They're bringing back the crystals and the, the summons are a big part of the story, which is like very Final Fantasy-ish. Like they definitely feel like they're trying to make it feel like a Final Fantasy in terms of the story. But I think the gameplay is going to be very un-Final Fantasy, and I think a lot of people are going to point at that and be like, yeah, this isn't my Final Fantasy. Which is 100% fair, but just saying, I think, I think that's going to happen. You're allowed to, to think whatever you want. If you think 6 was the last Final Fantasy, that's, that's totally fair. There, it was a big jump between 6 and 7. A lot changed, so... How's it going, Daniel? I, I definitely get it. Me personally, I think they all fit in the series, but I just think some are more Final Fantasy than others. You know? Some fit a bit better than others. Yeah, 16, you just play as one character from what we know. I thought I used this already.
Which, you know, the more I think about it, like, I thought at first it was fine, because it fit the gameplay. But I don't know, could they really have not done, like, a Final Fantasy Remake, 7 Remake type of deal, where you can swap between them? And they all have... mechanics? I don't know. Maybe they just really wanted to perfect the mechanics of the one character. Oh, please don't give anyone stop, Ash. That would be bad. Uh, this is bad. I need MP. Mavic, thank you for the gifted sub to Stardust. Got this, Fran. Stay alive. Oh no. Give her sap. Oh god, that attack is bad. This is truly sad. I still can't even kill this thing. I still can't kill this thing. Both there. Let me switch you out. Can't switch both air out. Keeps getting targeted by the enemy. What? How's he's not being targeted? He's attacking, but I'm pretty sure you can swap people out if they're attacking. Just keep curing us. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Daga. Why? Why? He's so close to dead, dude. Why? Wait. He stopped targeting me? I think he's healing, though. I hate this guy. I hate him. Yeah, think of the gift that's up the dime. Oh, he's a rank five. No wonder. Oh, no. White Moose was a rank five, and I killed him. He was not that hard. Okay, this guy's rank 5, too. Isn't there a save point right past him? Yeah, I need to get to that save point. I 
wonder if he would spawn if Fawn is dead. He only spawns if there's only girls in your party, but I wonder if Fawn counts if he's dead. can smell Vaughn's lifeless corpse. Two's leveling system is, uh... It's something. <laughs> it exists. It's a mechanic. It's probably the most broken mechanic in Final Fantasy history. I would have to say. If I had to pick one, if I had to pick one mechanic in the whole series that's the easiest to break, it's probably that. With, with the most impact, you know. The easiest with the most impact It's probably level two, it's probably Final Fantasy II's leveling system. Or maybe Mix, but Mix you still need the items to make it broken. Is Crisis Core worth getting? If you like Crisis Core, yes. If you didn't like the original, there's probably not enough new there to make you like it. Unless you specifically disliked the combat, because the combat's much better. But, uh... Yeah, no, it's a very, very, very good remaster. One of the best I've played. So if you like the original, or wanted to play the original, 100% worth. Ghosted sub? The gifted sub to Jose. Oh god, he has faith too. Thank you guys so much for all the ghost subs. You can do it. Well, we lost haste at least. Immune? Are you kidding me? How about bio? Oh, it did damage. I think we decided he's immune to oil, right? Ooh, but fire does good damage. I'm going in. Yo, subs! 
Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Hope you're doing well, man. What? What? What just happened to me? Is there a Christmas event? Bruh. I don't know how to answer that without sounding rude. Uh, come on, man. Yeah, that's a pretty good response. Can't get Ash back in the party. Maybe if all there just dies. It's not that, it's just that I I don't know. I can't <laughs> I can't answer it without sounding rude, so I just won't. that you're going to take it personally, it's that I sound like a jerk to everyone else. There we go. I don't want to sound that way. <laughs> you deserved it, Trev. Apologize for. Come on, one fire. One fire, one time. Okay, two fires, two times. It's not that we don't usually have Christmas events. We've done Christmas events before. That's not that's not what I'm getting at here. Arctic, thank you for the 666, man. Appreciate it. Alright, thank god that's over. Holy moly. Alright, get us out of here. No, it, it is. It's a fair question to ask. I apologize. It's a fair question to ask. I mean, it's two days before Christmas. I don't know what you're expecting me to do now, but... <laughs> like, when would the Christmas event happen? It's two days before Christmas, and today's the last day I'm streaming till Monday. So I'm not really sure what you're asking. Hey, the element's back. Elemental's back. Just throw a candy cane JPEG on the stream. Got it. Elf bowling 24 hour stream.
I'll just record myself playing elf bowling and then just play it on repeat. Yeah, no, it's all good. You're fine. It's just, I've been... I've been, like, literally no-lifing the past two weeks to get all the Crisis Core Reunion stuff out, all the Fantathon stuff out, the next in-depth video that people are, like, memeing on me because it's gonna take months to get the next one out, right? Haha. <laughs> Like, working on that non-stop, working on the reunion stuff non-stop, working on the Fantathon stuff non-stop, working on the event I did on Monday, the meme event I did on, or not on Monday, on Wednesday, the whole golf meme event I did. So, people asking, like, are you doing something for Christmas, haha, -ha, is, like, hitting me the wrong way, I suppose. Because I've literally been non-stop content. Like, have multiple Let's Plays going on at once. Nine hours of Crisis Core every day. Content. <laughs> so it's just hitting me the wrong way. Like, so Christmas event, question mark? But I know, it, no, that's like a fair question to ask. I should have just said no. But then I get the, well, why not? <laughs> this guy hates Christmas. You're all invited to my Christmas party. How about that? PTSD from Holiday Guy, yeah. Uh, oh, shoot. I should have talked to the guy... The turn-in for the pudding was, like, right there. Well, I could've... I don't know. I could've said it better. I could... I should... I should've just said... No, we're not doing a Christmas event because I'm doing like nine series at a at a time right now and just left it at that. That would have been the best way to say it. I apologize. Should have just said that. Thanks, Meet the Wiz. Thank you. You said you'd get them and you have done. Oh, hello there, Samal. Well, I see you've recovered my things. You're lucky you found someone willing to help you. You can't hope to get by in life stealing and pilfering from others. We help each other or the whole thing falls apart. Off with you now. Hopefully you've learned something from all of this and it won't go so well for you if you catch we catch you stealing again. Thank you. Thank all of you. I've learned my lesson, so I have. D did I mention that the whole story of this game is that we're sky pirates and we like steal stuff? And... Bond's whole thing is like he steals from people. A blackened fragment of some sort of medallion. It's given to me by a man who said I should pass it on to someone who'd shown great courage. Okay, okay, okay. It's just a hunt. I'm over it. Uh, the other one was the Moogle. Yeah, the Zodiac Spear is nonsense. It's pretty silly. What is that shiny box? That was part of the care package that was sent to me by Solid and a bunch of people. It is a box full of Nose Pass Pokemon. Because nice nose. Haha, <laughs> funny meme.
the suitcase from Pulp Fiction. Except it's a meme about my nose. So just as important. I want, I want to think that that's how someone figured out the Zodiac Spear thing, is that the chests in this game are so useless that they just stopped picking up chests for the entire playthrough. And that's how someone accidentally figured it out. Because they really do suck. You <laughs> almost never get anything good out of them. Yeah, think of the gift of sub to meat. Koopa, you have the key. That means you defeated my wobbly white nemesis. Thank you ever so much, Koopa. You saved this poor Moogle's honor. Now to get my brother to repair it. I'll be back in two shakes. Got a bow. Sorry to keep you waiting, Koopa. My brother's repaired the key, but not before his serendipitous message arrived from Old Delan. He found another key that works, so he doesn't need this one anymore. Sorry for wasting your time, Koopa. Yeah, of course. Ah! So now I can control the sluice gates, but I'm not really sure what that gets me. Probably something later. How's it going, solid? Solid's here. I don't have the alert on this screen though. Here, I'll flip. I'll flip it over just for you. game get really loud. Wait. Oh yeah, because this game's so freaking loud. Oh well. You still got the picture. Uh. Oh, we could go kill this dude. Why is the... The numbers are like so off. The newer ones are way down here because they're... I think the clan ones have like lower numbers or higher numbers. Why am I doing all these hunts? Why wouldn't I do the hunts? They're part of the game. A very fun part of the game. Playing the game? Uh, I guess we could do that. Try this one. How's it going, Dragon? <laughs> I don't know what the, I don't know what you want. Why am I doing the hunts as opposed to what? Like the story? Like, I don't understand the question. You do the hunts and you get rewards, and it makes you stronger, and then you win the game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you get rewards for doing the hunts. Like, pretty much the biggest rewards in the game are from the hunts. It's like, pretty much the biggest mechanic in this game is the hunts.
Yeah, this is the original. The entire, uh, the entire Fantathon is a quest through all the original North American releases. You can type exclamation mark Fantathon in the chat for more info. But all of the games we're playing for Fantathon are the original North American releases. Or as close as we can get. Uh, okay, where's this boy? Sand strewn pass. No, we're playing Crisis Core later. Hymns, what a name. I thank you. The Pharaoh Retriever lurks in Paramana Rift, attacking those coming to the Holy City for salvation. There have been many deaths. The latest reports say the Pharaoh Retriever was seen in the southern part of the Rift, near the Still Shrine of Miriam. Okay, this one sounds simple enough. Yeah, the remaster is much better. It, it really modernizes the game in a way where it's not as slow. The game didn't bother us as much back in the day when it was slow because, like, you know, I don't know, games were slower back then, you're more used to that kind of thing. It was probably one of the only games you had to play at the time. Whereas nowadays, you have so many games to play that you don't really want to, like, waste so much time on one game and you don't really want to grind as much in one game. So the, the remake, or the remaster definitely helps with that. With just all the load times being lower and the game being generally faster and the four times cheat to get through some, like, running and stuff. Or even if you just play the whole game on times three. Just makes it a more approachable experience, I think. How's it going, Pumpkin? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you making the jump over. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I just appreciate you being here. yet. Merry Christmas if I don't see you later. Mavic, thank you for the gifted sub to Pumpkin. Welcome to the crew, man. Now you can never leave. You've been roped in. Don't step on the trap. Ooh, maybe I can kill the elemental that's here. Chrono Cross, nice. That was quite the interesting playthrough. Definitely a mixed bag. Chrono Cross. I did definitely enjoy it, but... That story, man. Silence me. He did it. Doesn't matter, I think he's immune to magic now anyways. Got him. And now I'm sleeping. Quickly, because we're running, we're like out of time, and I'm hungry. Let's just run there. Am 
when did uh did X2 come out before this? Or was it like around the same time? X2 was like right before this, right? So I mean at least they didn't go as hard as hard in the paint as they did with in X2 with the over-sexualization. I mean, you have, like, like the characters, but for the most part, the cutscenes and everything are tame. X2 is literally a butt shot in every single cutscene. It's pretty ridiculous. But then again, I think they knew that's why people were buying that game, whereas here it was more of a full experience. But still, I'm glad they didn't just... Oh, it worked in X2. Let's do it in 12. This game does have its moments, though. For sure. Why did I turn my gamuts on? I think I found him. Wait. No, that's not him. That's just a dragon. Thing. I think it, most of the mainline games, I feel like have pretty much the same, same kind of thing going on. A little bit of fan service, but like, it's pretty tame. But then the, the side games, they just go nuts with it. Ever since, I would say ever since 10-2. You think? Was there... Was there over-sexualization in any of the games before X2? I mean, obviously I have like Tifa and 7, but... That's really only like the one cutscene they took advantage of. And they were just showing off the cutscene. See the hunt. How's it going, Arco? Said it was to the south. He's not over there, is he? He might be over there, in which case I don't know how to get to him. This isn't as simple as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, the one on the highway. Where she like bobbles all over the highway. But I always took that as like they're just showing how impressive their graphics are in a way that our adolescent minds could understand. It's not a constant constant push. And I mean, like, it fits the the general theming of 7 as well. Like, 7 all had this kind of uh, I guess like I mean, you had like the, the honeybee in and like the goofy scenes with Cloud and the guys and like, oh there he is. It was never a very PG game to begin with, so I feel like it fits. Plus you have, like, Barrett and Sid cussing up a storm, like... It was always a more crude game with its humor. I wouldn't say the same about Ten. Ten doesn't come across to me as crude, so, like... The over sexualization of the girls in 10 2 doesn't fit. It comes across as just straight fan service. And not something that fits the world, you know? Then again, you do have Lulu. That is, that is true. <laughs> you do have Lulu, and she does literally bend over at the end of every fight, so. 
is that. Alright, well he was easy. I think, I feel like Seven was just kind of leaning into the humor. Eight pretty much had none, really, did it? I mean, nothing more than normal. JRPG. Nine really had none. Ten, like I said, had Lulu, but that's just one character. It's not they don't they don't go anywhere with that with the character and you know to be fair to be fair to 10 2 I know it's like over sexualization all over the place but to be fair the theme they were going for was Charlie's Angels and that does fit that you know what I mean? Like, it's not completely out of nowhere. It's not like, you know. Like, if I'm going to make the argument that 7 fit its theming, then I feel like I should probably say the same for 10 too, because that, that was kind of the whole theming of that game. So, I don't know. Maybe you could make the argument that it wasn't fan service as much. But I feel like the choice to make it Charlie's theme, Charlie's Angels themed was on purpose so that they could do fan service, you know? With Seven, it fits everything. It fits the world. It fits the, the the grim outlook of Mako and business and everything, like the slums. It makes sense that there would be a place like that in the slums and like, I don't know, it all fits. The whole Charlie's Angels aesthetic doesn't fit the 10 world at all. It's just what they went with so that they could do fan service. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It fits, but at the same time, it doesn't. But yeah, I mean, at least with the main games, it's pretty consistent after that. Like, I don't look at 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15 and think like, oh man, they really jumped the shark with the women. Like, no, no, it's pretty tame. It's really only the side games. So. Quinn, thank you so much for the 11 month primer. Thanks for doing this series. It's always nice to watch Vandathon while eating. Agreed. I wish I could eat the whole time while I'm playing. Alright, well, that'll be it for Fandathon. We're going to move on to Crisis Core, but before we do that, we got to say goodbye to YouTube. Uh, we have a huge laundry list of hunts to do next time, and hopefully, since we'll be doing Crisis Core all week next week, hopefully we're done or close to done with Crisis Core, and uh, we'll be back to be able to doing Double Days with uh, 12, so maybe we can do a Double Day next week and try to knock out like a big chunk of these hunts and do more of the story as well, um, so we probably won't have time to do both if we only do a single day, so we'll see. But we definitely got a lot done today. Um, you know, I'm starting to really check out with the story, as I knew I would. It's just kind of going on and on, like, the war's going to happen, the war's going to happen, we got to find the stone, the war's going to happen, and it's just kind of going on and on. At least we got to meet Sid, but Sid was kind of weird, like, I didn't really like Sid. His voice acting was yikes, and he didn't really sell me as, like, being crazy. He was just kind of weird. Um, and the new pirate guy was fine, but we met him for like two seconds and now he's gone like every other character. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sold on the characters. They need to stop adding more characters and just actually give us depth with the ones we have. At least we're getting a little bit about Balthair, but it's all still kind of mysterious and like, just get on with it. Get on with the war, get on with Balthair doing whatever he wants to do. Get on with Fran and 
Ash and Vaughn and Pinello actually mattering. But Bosch is just here, like, Bosch has done nothing since the beginning of the game, so I need it to, like, get on with it. Um, but, yeah. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. We'll see what cool hunts we have awaiting us. And we'll see you in the next episodes of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. Peace.